We will walk in Manhattan, we will do a photo shoot here and also talk with other photographers. Landed in New York City. Are you ready for my trip? Hello everyone, I am Daria Kosa, fashion photographer and today we are in New York City. street photographer. <laughs> I feel even weird to shoot stranger people <laughs> like just like street style randomly. I am waiting to see finally my advertisement which was running on Times Square. I am so excited. Perfect timing for coming here and I would definitely say that New York is the city to live for photographer, especially in the fashion industry. If I wasn't really afraid of living in the cold weather, I would definitely move to New York, but I just really like Miami weather when it's always warm. For my personal opinion, I think in like in New York for photography it's much more work. So funny to see how Empty was New York after COVID and how right now it's coming to the normal life and so many people here again. And you can see behind me it's famous B and H photo and video store which was founded in 1973. If you're in photography or video you probably know about this store. That is the store with the huge specter of the photo, video, lighting equipment, with a lot of digital products. You can find everything there. B&H, it's not just a store, it's an institution in the world of photography and videography. That's my favorite part of the store, where it's a lot of lighting, and backgrounds, fabrics. So let's go there. I like that in the actual store you could check it out, the fabric, the texture, the color, the exactly how it looks like and choose what you could order from them online. It looks super stylish, like very nice, even prop on set. Nice and expensive prop. And my favorite brown color brand. Uh, that would be interesting to see the pick light here. What is very unique about this store that here when you order it and your package packed and going like on those rails and it looks so cool. Look at this. I would say it's very futuristic and unusual seeing this kind of packaging and especially because of store photography and video that's making it more exclusive to see this and more fun shopping here. What is also unique about this store, they're not just selling new cameras but also vintage ones like here behind my back. Almost 20,000. That's museum item. A camera from the moon. That's mine. It actually could be my third screen. Yeah, I'd love to review and unbox it. 
If you watched a video about unboxing and set up my Wacom Intos Pro, and I was telling that in the box you have Pro Pen tool, which is included, but if it feels like very huge for your hand and you'd like to use a smaller, slimmer one, you have the option to buy Pro Pen Slim. You see the difference between those two? That's one which is coming in the box, and this one, the option for which you could buy. Actually, I need to buy a new backpack, and still this one is my favorite. I would just order the new one, the same one. It's like one laugh. <laughs> That's the most interesting part we have. It says here, Hasselblad, Fujifilm. But still, to be honest with you, like here, I feel like Hasselblad, they have the most beautiful display with this light color, even like each lens stands separately in the box with this light. It's, even in the store, you get in this understanding that it's very exclusive product. Just look at this place, it's massive. The shelves are packed with the gear, but it's not just quantity. I used to shop a lot in this store, especially online. Mostly it was really cool. When you was ordering to Miami, you was getting the product without no sale tax. But unfortunately, a few years ago, everything has changed. And right now, even if you're ordering it online, you're still paying sales tax. But there is one trick which could help you save in hundreds. If you open the credit card with them, you could have waiver of sales tax, which is very helpful and nice having it. We just came on the location where we're we going to do a photo shot. Let's follow me. On Times Square, like in the heart of New York, my advertisement, right on the billboard. my advertisement uh, three photographers trying to do a photograph of me and sell on me and it's so interesting how much did they get paid here maybe less than must clay today how long do you work here on Times Square I am from Colombia oh, cool. I, I learned in New York for uh, one year oh that's good why do you choose New York instead of Miami in Miami is is nice it's good uh, but uh, New York is very crazy people, it's very much. Mm, yeah, interesting. 
was you doing photography in Colombia as well? Yeah, yes, in Colombia, my working for wedding, oh. uh, 15 year uh, model. Wow. You have a lot of experience. Yeah, uh, I'm a photographer, 10 years. Ask me too. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. So, do you do weddings here too, or just shooting on Times Square? In Times Square, uh, for a, for a tour, for Frank uh, Times Square, or for Brooklyn Bridge, or Central Park, or mm. well, different location uh, in New York. Are you working every day? Every day, and uh, yes, yes. But wait, do you work to some company or you? My company. Oh, it's yours. For how much do you sell those photos here? For a tour, one hora, they say five, $500. That's, that's a really good price. Yes, it's very nice. It's uh, one hora, $500, uh, two horas, depend. But do you sell pictures like here on the Times Square, like you did good photo, and do you sell them like per photo or no? Uh, this is uh, Times Square. Uh, this is uh, for picture. Yeah. For picture, it's a uh, twenty twenty dollar for one picture. Well, that's good price. Yes, it the same as your phone connection now. Like uh, immediately. Yes, I see. Yeah, no that's edition, no that. No. Yes, people, different pod. Yeah, selection picture live. Okay, yeah. I that's. mean, I feel like people are so lucky to find you here on Times Square with such a big experience. And just think in a few years you will charge much more and it will be very hard to get to you for a photo shoot. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. It's Thank so you. nice to meet you. Nice I have your contact. Too. It was very beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful photographer. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. already shot two street style fashion look and right now we're moving to another spot to shoot our third look it's again street style fashion but a little bit different how long are you doing photography uh, between here and Dam Square for six months six months yeah, six months. Wow. Yeah. and you working here every day yeah every day working here yes. like it yeah so you're doing not just on the Times Square, you're also doing yeah, photography. Yeah, photography. How many hours per day you spend in here on Times Square? Uh, here, working here, that's eight hours. Eight hours per day? Yeah, per day. It's very hard. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's, you know, like working here, it's super crowded, like loud, every time speaking with different people. And yeah, it's how much the photograph cost here? Like that's all for picture or ten each. Ten, ten each. For picture. You working for yourself? Yeah, for myself. Oh, that's cool. So you just like choose that you want to do photography here on Times Square. Yeah. So do you study photography somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, you was going to some like courses, college. Uh, yeah, it's the college. Yeah. I do photography professionally over ten years. You? Yeah, oh, okay. I'm just looking young, but yeah. <laughs> How much you possibly could earn like for one day shooting here? Here, uh, maybe for uh, eight or five, six hours. Five hundred. Five hundred for eight hours? Yeah, that sounds good. And sometimes it's two hundred, three hundred. But it's good if you're working like every day. And yeah. That's cool. Are you printing photos or just emails? Uh, only digital, I have print over there. It, uh, for each picture, uh, the, the digital, 10 each. $10 uh, per yes, photo? Uh, printed, the small one, the 25, 35, 45, and 65. Okay. The 65 is the same. 65 is like yeah. they pay. Yeah.
god, there is this snake over there. I'm super afraid of this snake. I cannot even go and look at this way. Let's go away. Photography is beautiful work, really. I do photography t 10 years. When oh, I was me too. 16. Yeah? How old are you? How young are you? Ah, uh, it will be 28 next month. You 28? Will be next month. No, maybe 18. No. I'm flirt with her. <laughs> <laughs> do you always shoot in here on Times Square? No. I'm just moved here. Oh, from where? So, uh, from Israel. Oh, wow. I'm hustling right now. But I'm on my way to do a, a real good shit. Yeah, I mean, you're doing a lot of fashion. It's in Israel, I do. Like, I work with. So you do photography for ten years, right? Yes. Why you do it? I, you know, it's at the same time hobby and job for me. So I don't feel like I'm working. Okay, but I'm just keep, doing it. Yeah, you do it. You love it, right? Yeah. You like to make people fun. You like blah blah blah. Okay, I got you. But if you want to be at the top, you need to be. You need to have meaning. Like I thought about it today. I can do. I'm, I'm do amazing photos. Yeah. But I want to make something that I have my language. Like That's you want to tell. Style. You want to tell your story, right? That's true. You came from somewhere. So I want to ask you uh, why and how you're gonna do your work in your hand. Like not something copy. Not something like look look like someone else. How you gonna do your job by your own? It's gonna be like only you and if I'm gonna see the photos all around the world, I'm gonna see. All my clients send me sometimes, they saw the work and they text me like, oh, I saw your work, you shoot someone, even if the people are not tagging me. They're recognizing my style. And I feel like style is coming with the years and years of shooting. you having your creative eye, you're observing all the information, all the photographs, all the beauty around you. It could be not just photographs, but it could be just nature, music. And you having this image in your mind, your style, and you trying to present it in every shoot. And even I would tell you, like, if it would be like few photographers shooting the same model on the same location, everyone will get different. everyone get another one. Yeah. I know it, hundred percent. Also but with the colors, everything gonna be a angle, colors, everything. Yeah. Like uh, even choosing the image which you will edit. Right. Wow. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to say. This one. I love this one. I wanna do this one, but I don't wanna copy. I don't wanna. You know what? What I'm saying, like with the mood board, it's very nice to have in the mood board for each um, specialist, like from the industry, telling different. For example, you're doing one mood board for makeup artist. Okay. Like yeah, for the makeup. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, when you're looking at the picture, you're looking like photographer, you're thinking, I'll, what the kind of light in it was there, right? This is the thing. Yeah. But I don't care about the light, because I know light, and I yeah. can make light like this. Yeah, but I mean, like, if someone will show you one image, and you will look, if there's someone showing you this picture, like, oh, so the person for me wants to do, like, this kind of angle and this kind of light, right? But if you will show this picture for the... For example, makeup artist, you will think like, oh, that's oh, the kind of makeup they want from me. Right. Oh, for wardrobe, they like, they want to do me this kind of style. So that's why, like, with the mood board, you're trying to find the, the things, the, like, what you exactly like in this picture. Like, what exactly, is it lighting? Is it makeup? Is it hair? Is it style? And then, looking for different images, you could combine different details which you like, and that's how you will do your own and not copying. It's like inspiring, yeah. but not copying. Yeah. You know, I feel like in New York, it's a lot of opportunity, especially for fashion photography. Yeah. But you do fashion, you do like what? How? If I gonna, if, if I gonna like, how you represent yourself? You fashion, 
you people, you artist, uh, photographer, what kind of photographer are you? Fashion what, photographer, yeah. what, what are you? You fashion, you say fashion? Yeah. How you do fashion? What is fashion for you? So first of all, fashion photography, it's working with the brands, with the commercial clients, right? Shooting advertising campaigns, uh, working with the models. I'm working a lot of with influencers, models. So that's why I'm considering myself like fashion photographer. But even I have maternity photo shoot, but clients come to me not to do like, you know, like just regular maternity shot, but kind of more like fashion with the edgy look. Yeah. I tell you the truth, people say, ask me, what are you, are you fashion photographer? I say, I'm not fashion photographer. People all over. You fashion photographer? I said, no, I work with my models, I work with everyone. Yeah, I'm working not just only with the professional models, but also fashion photographer could work with the talent, like an athlete, professional athlete. Right. And it's still fashion photographer if you should so have this fashion? for the magazine. Beautiful, I love it. What is fashion? People love your work, your fashion. It's a nice way to think and yeah. I like it, yeah. So, this is for my remember. No another one. Peace. Me. She's very talented. Subscribe. Oh yeah. Put all the all the bottom that you need. I am super proud to be on Times Square. I mean having my advertisement there. Guys again, thank you so much for following my channel, subscribing to it. So if you enjoyed watching my video, please give me a like and please don't forget to subscribe.